Today let's see per class constants and implementing static methods. I'll take a class called math and we all know the constant pi. Pi can't be changed that is pi value is always 3.14159 so I'll take it constant. Let me save this file as math.php I'll take another file called I'll name it index.php and include math.php class file here now I'll directly access the value of pi without instantiating an object of math class the class name scope resolution operator and the constant name that is pi now locate the file index.php that is I have stored it inside a folder called technotip.com slash index so I don't give index.php again so we could successfully access the value of the constant using scope resolution operator without actually creating an instance of class math this is per per class constant now let's see implementing static methods I'll take a method called let's take a method called color I'll simply take this for the purpose of demonstration let's take square something meaningful for the class math I'll take a number and echo out the square now I can access this static method directly without using any instances of math class that is the syntax is class name scope resolution operator and the method name pass some parameters now I have passed 10 so 10 into 10 is 100 let's remove br here because we are echoing out the result inside our static function so let's give the line break here so that would bring 100 to the next line so here it is the simple concept of static methods so use this static method when some of the operations that is that method is somewhat global to that class you need not instantiate the class and create multiple objects and then invoke these method using each of these objects if the case is like that you you shouldn't take the static method if something needs to be done in general that is in the in the global scope of that class then take it as a static variable and then with access it modify it without instantiating object of that class so that would reduce the mapping of the function to the particular object which invoked it and the things like that if you have something in global scope make sure you take it as static method and then access it directly without creating any objects of that class so hope you understood the concepts Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, etc. Thanks for watching.